Good morning. I thought I'd do something a bit different on my walk this morning. So I've stopped at uh, St Mary the Virgin Church, Upper Swainswick, lovely 12th century church. And I've set up a selfie stick on its tripod legs. It looks very much like an Elon Musk reusable rocket having just landed. But the system seems to work because here I am talking to you, uh, sitting on a nice uh, chair in a, a beautiful churchyard. Um, I wanted to talk about culture. Um, it's good news the government's finally pumped an awful lot of money uh, into the arts. Um, but, you know, it's one thing to sustain theatres and cinemas, uh, but it's another to actually work out how they can reopen and do the job they're intended to do, which is entertain a live public. Um, we still don't know whether the Bath Panto is on or off at the Theatre Royal. Um, I'll let you know when I hear. Um, but the good news, I suppose, this Monday morning is that you can go and support um, some local cultural things. Um, the American Museum and Gardens has reopened, the Holborn opened yesterday and today the Roman baths are back in business. Um, there'll be a limited and controlled entry, a one-way system, but at least, you know, it, it's back in business and we can look forward. Um, my best advice to you for all three institutions is to go onto their website and check the information as to when it's open and, and how you, certainly in the case of the Roman bars, you have to pre-book. Um, discovery card holders still get in free, but they also have to pre-book. So that's some good news. Um, it's difficult really to think ahead, isn't it? I was just noticing coming uh, through the lane on the hedgerow that the, uh, the blackberries are forming already. Uh, September beckons just as we go into uh, July, but it certainly is a, a year I suppose most of us will want to forget. Um, you know, we, we put our hope in the scientists and the vaccine that'll hopefully get the world out of this mess. Um, a vaccine that might come later this year or next year. Um, you know, let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, the most terrible thing is the fact we can't get rid of this disgusting government until May 2024, unless somebody knows um, another way of uh, disposing of them. Um, not very, I'm not very proud of my country at the moment. Very proud of its people and the, those who are working to, uh, to keep us safe and keep us going. But um, I don't know. Anyway, it's Monday, uh, the start of another working week for many of you I know. And for those of you without work, um, you know, I'll keep my fingers crossed for your future. But let's not be too down at the start of the next week. I'm very lucky to live where I do and to be able to walk out into countryside like this. So um, I'm going to pack up now and uh, go home and stick this online. Have a great day.